My name is Rocco Potami. I own Rocco's Italian Grill. And uh, I'm going to present you a dish today which is called Papatele Cicquetere. It's one of my signature dishes. First of all, we turn off the fire. We take some extra virgin olive oil, just not too much, just a little. After that, we eat some shallots, a little bit of shallots. We saute the shallots just a little bit. Don't get them too translucent. Just a little bit, salt and them. After that, we're gonna add the seafood. We have some warm water lobster tail already chopped up. It's important that it's warm water because otherwise the other lobster is too delicate for it to, uh, to cook. It's gonna break up. Dry white wine. Don't be afraid, even if you put a little bit too much, it won't matter. It can evaporize. Get better. After that, we're gonna take a little bit of basil, some of the basil that we have, and we're gonna put it in there so it gets a little bit toasty and it releases its flavor. The fish is gonna start changing color on you. It's gonna start getting a little bit translucent and it's, the colors are gonna start coming out, the natural colors of the fish of the seafood is gonna start coming out. After that, we add the tomato. Let it reduce. Salt and pepper, white pepper to taste. As we're doing that, we're gonna take the pasta. Now this is fresh pasta. If it's fresh pasta, you add about, you put about seven ounces. It takes about three, four minutes to cook. If it's dry pasta, which is papardelle in this case, you can put the, uh, a little bit less because it grows more. The fresh pasta will not take any longer than three, four minutes to cook in the water. Once your pasta is cooked, you saute it. And you add the rest of your fresh basil. You don't have to saute it at home because it's a little bit messy. You can just turn it with the, your tongues or your fork, whatever you prefer. You cook for about, uh, about two minutes and the dish is ready. Then we're gonna plate it. What you do is you take your pasta and you put it in the center of the plate. Lift it up if you can. So it makes a little kind of a hill. And you take your seafood, disperse it around so it has a nice presentation. Put your big prawn on top. Make sure that you clean your plate. Some fresh basil leaf, some shaved parmigiano. Usually cheese doesn't go with seafood, but this since this is a creamy recipe with cream, you can add shaved parmigiano, not grated parmigiano. And this is it. And 
This is a Fantelle Cinque Terre, a recipe that I designed and made. It's one of my original recipes.